Well, here's the Gaming Z installed and operating on uh, my system. Uh, some of the LED effects that you can configure through MSI's gaming app. Uh, now, some people have been reporting having troubles loading this thing. Uh, notice that it had some kind of delayed start. I presume this is MSI trying to check your uh, video card and uh, identify the information off the motherboard. Uh, you know, if you wait for one to two minutes, it seems uh, to be running. This is often the case. I looked at the task manager, it was running, but nothing popped out, uh, popped up from the system tray until about two minutes later while I was reading Tom's hardware wondering why it doesn't load. Uh, so I think there is a little bit of a delay. Um, the, that being said, I'm running Windows 10 Anniversary Edition 64-bit, um, so there may be some compatibility issues as this was uh, released before then. But nevertheless, it seems to work nonetheless. So uh, lighting effects on off. Uh, this is something that you can calibrate. I just turned it off. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, styles. There's a uh, breathing style, and uh, we'll do a set that on the MSI red here. You'll notice it start pulsating, um, and this is kind of a red glow um, coming off the MSI logo over here, and then also over here, um, MSI. Uh, one of the criticisms is, you know, you wish they could have made this less um, logotistic, if you will. Um, not exactly wanting to advertise this, but hey, in my Antec uh, metal case, this really is not going to make a whole lot of difference, nor did I buy this for the backlight and logo lighting effects. Uh, breathing, you have flashing. Uh, the flashing effect um, makes you look like, I guess, a set of air, uh, uh, airport runway lights. Uh, you have a double flashing and that's seen with a strobe effect and then also with kind of a random effect I think um, just one of those three okay so it cycles between random effects of those three settings now in um, double flashing uh, flashing and even breathing uh, you can have a rainbow mode in which case and now it's set to a breathing pattern where with each breath it cycles a different random color from any 16 million colors here so I got a blue kind of color coming here uh, what I got next uh, this white um, got green blue again or purplish so the red again, green. Uh, that's in breathing. You can do this to the flashing, also on a random color flash. So now we have a strobe color. That's random. Then you know double flashing, random colors here. The strobe's the same color twice. And while this is kind of fun, somehow I think this is a little gimmicky. Unless you have like one of those gamer cases where you're showing off your uh, insides of the case here. Frankly, the utility of this is extremely limited, uh, nor would I necessarily recommend this as the reason of getting this model. But this is unique to the gamer, sorry, the Gaming Z model of MSI's 1080X uh, with these LEDs. I know other manufacturers have also had colored uh, fan lights. Um, well, the practicality of this in my vertically mounted case is you'll never see the fan lights um, very well either. So uh, all this is kind of gimmicky, but uh, for what it's worth, uh, this is one of the features uh, that makes the gaming uh, Z different than the gaming X for these light effects. Previous lights are just kind of white here. Uh, these have uh, RGB colored LEDs for 16.7 million colors. Um, you can uh, also configure the back, the side, and the front. I guess the front might have also a light. Yeah, I guess right here we have a little bit of light that flashes up on the front of the card. Um, those can be configured individually in color as well. So if you really wanted uh, the color, you know what? We're going to save power. We're actually going to turn off the lighting, sadly. 
in this case unless one day I want to show this off. But for what it's worth, that's the customized lighting backplate and uh, color LED uh, logo, uh, the side LED, and the front lighting on the MSI GTX 1080 Gaming Z card. Thanks for watching.